All right, who will we play as today? Why, I know, we'll play as Elsa. I mean, Rosalina. <laughs> and apparently she's a heavy character, even though she looks like she's the same weight as Princess Peach, but oh well. Let's see what we got. Uh, I feel like it's fitting to be in the okay. shooting star if we're uh, Rosalina. Keep up that space theme and all that. All right. Where are we at today? Today we are on the Poison Mushroom Cup. We've got SNES Donut Plains Free, Skyline Avenue, GCN Wario Coliseum, and oh no, Mushroom Peaks. Okay. Well, this cup is gonna suck. But we're gonna play it anyways. Uh, yeah, heads up, I've played Mushroom Peaks. Really don't ever want to play it again, but oh well. Here we go. So first up, we got SNES Donut Plains Free. I believe this is the same Donut Plains that's in the Mario Kart 8. Yep. Hopefully this version's a little bit better. Maybe they have more than two sets of power-ups. That would be pretty nice. I would like this course more in Mario Kart 8 if they had more than two sets of power-ups, and if both of them were not before the halfway point. Alright, well let's see what Rosalina can do. I blew up. Really? I don't think so, but alright. At least this means we'll get a good power-up to begin. Everyone's just falling into the pond. Okay. Great, Daisy's got a green shell behind her. I don't like that. I thought the shooting star is supposed to have decent off-road. Actually, I can't remember if the shooting star is decent off-road or really bad off-road. It's been a while. Oh, great. And its drift is not the best diver. Rats. None of those came close to hitting Daisy. Okay, that was weird. One of those shells did not go straight forward at all, but alright. That's fine. Take that, Daisy. Okay, yeah, see, they, I'm glad they put in an extra set of power-ups here. That alone makes this version better than the, uh, Wii, uh, the Wii U slash Switch versions. Okay, this is a good version of the course. I like it. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the SNES tracks, but... I will make an exception for it, though, when it's free. I think this is actually pretty cool. I like how you go into the water. It just adds a little bit of variety to the track. It's got a couple of windy turns, but nothing unfair. Oh no, it's a good adaption. I like this. Would go back and play it again. Alright, here we go. Simple track. Nice win. Oh, wow. Rosalina, you might not want to do that. <laughs> That's dangerous. All right. First track down. Pretty good. Shooting Star is fun. It doesn't have as good drift as some other vehicles, but its overall stats are pretty good. I like it. Skyline Avenue. Ooh, this looks fun. Ooh. So it's another one of those, like, big Mushroom City-style levels. We got some sharp turns in here, but this this could be interesting. I've got high hopes for this. I like racing through the city. Not in real life, but... Alright, it looks like we've got some windy turns in here. I should not have blown up from that. I held A so late. That's okay. We'll take advantage of our gold mushrooms then. I don't trust the gold mushroom to let us stay on track. Uh, dude! Movie Yoshi. Bully Maguire Rosalina's coming through. Oh, this looked like it was off-road. Looked like grass, but it wasn't. Oh no! Oh no! The brakes did nothing. Should not have tricked at the end of that. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I know there's a sharp 90-degree uh, turn coming up here. 
All right, now we're on to lap. Okay, I like this course. This course seems very fun. There's that one really precise turn, but we'll see if we can do better here. Okay. Glad I actually didn't go into first then. Some of these tracks, it seems like you need to know which ramps you want to trick off of and which ones you absolutely do not want to trick off of. Please don't be an off-road area. It wasn't cool. Okay, this time I'm not going to turn right away. I'm going to turn into this other part here. Okay, yeah, that way's a lot safer. Probably not as fast, but safer. Which means it will be faster for me. Okay, no, this course is awesome. I really like this course. Whoa, whoa, whoa. None of the turns here seem that unfair. And I'm gonna I'm gonna try that really tight turn on the next lap. Okay, Donkey Kong, get out of here. You are not worthy of being in first place. I actually can get behind a track where it's like you don't always want to trick off of the ramps, depending on. As long as it's decently obvious in advance which ones you don't want to trick off of. Okay, so if I go this way again, we just don't trick off of this. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I really like this course. This is fantastic. Probably my favorite of the city courses up to this point. Except maybe um, Superstar Dystopia. That's also very good. This is just... It's nice and fun. And that's what Mario Kart's all about. Yeah, that was awesome. I thoroughly enjoyed that track. Oh my gosh, Donkey Kong won last on the previous course, but he won second here. That's really going to uh, <laughs> give me a big lead. All right, this is, this is fascinating. Okay, and then next is Wario Coliseum. Not one of my favorite Double Dash courses, but it might translate a little bit better in with the Wii steering. I'm curious to see how that Helix is going to go. Wario Coliseum's not bad, it's just not particularly great. Some people really like it, though. Which, I mean, hey, whatever. I'm going to enjoy it while it lasts. Is it still going to be two laps? It is. Cool. I swear I am not holding A too early. Does the shooting star have to hold it like way or late, way later or something? Because I swear I'm timing it correctly. Okay, that was an annoying place to drop me off. Alright, we go up the big jump and into the actual Coliseum Dome. Alright, yeah, let's see how this helix goes. All these cars apparently have better drifting than I do. Don't agree with that. Because I'm pretty sure Donkey Kong was in the off-roader. Which definitely does not have as good turning as the shooting star. Oh no! I saw that. Okay, Yoshi should not have this big of a lead. What the heck? What has Yoshi done to contribute to society? Yeah, y'all are gonna want to go out of my way! Just right. Oof. Wow. Rude. And then everybody just hit nothing. Okay. Interesting. Out of my way, for goodness sakes. Bullet bills don't got... Polo just keeps dropping me off in terrible places. Really? That guy just shrugged it off like it wasn't even there. Maybe he was the one who used the top walk. Okay, this course is not... Still not super designed for cars with not great terrain. That was weird. I just started skidding out of nowhere. Oh, I saw the end blast of that blue shell. 
There ain't no way cars are having better drifting than I am. Bikes, yes. Carts, no. Talk on it. Everybody takes everything. I'm not going down the ramp in the middle this time. I don't trust it. Oh, you jerk butts. Keep trying to hit me. No, you don't. Let's try Bowser Jr. Whoa! That was close. Okay, I have to say, still not a fan of Wario Coliseum, but I'll take it. Okay, so heads up, this next course is absolute hot garbage. It is the worst racing course I have ever played on. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mushroom Peaks. So you remember Mushroom Gorge, it's not that great of a course. This is basically taking it up to an 8,000 in terms of difficulty. It is apparently the very first CTGP track ever made, and every single person knows that this course is absolute garbage, and yet they refuse to take it down just because it was the first one. Screw that. Take this out right now. I I literally started holding A at the, fr at the one. This vehicle literally just blew me up unjustly four times. Well, that was stupid. Believe me, that's the least stupid part of this course. So here you got two different ways to go. If you go on the right path, you fall off. If you go on the left path, you fall off. People have uh, told me that it is possible to beat this level without falling off, but I do not believe them. Like, look at that. The mushrooms are spaced too far apart for you to be able to do this properly. And if you fail, you just keep getting reset back here. And you can't turn properly. So like I said, this is, this is actually, like look at that! There's no possible way you can have enough speed to get across. So you just have to fall off. And I only get free mushrooms when I am so far behind that I'll never be able to catch up. There we go, that's what we need. Like, the CPUs will literally just get stuck in certain parts of this course and we'll never be able to proceed because that's how dumb it is. Not to mention, this course even looks gar like garbage. The boost panels have, like, no texture. It's just square and angular. Like, I try to give every course a fair shake, but no, this course is just pure, absolute garbage start to finish. There's no, there's no excuse for this course. And like, oh, look at that! You just, you can't go around that. I was literally holding the brake with all of my might, and it still wasn't enough. So yeah, we're just gonna plow through this, never ever play it again. That ramp wasn't even made properly. I was literally turning with all my might and it's not enough to get a cry on that turn. That's how terrible this course is. Okay, the star is actually not good. Look, what the heck is that? That mushroom platform isn't even made properly. So this course was just not playtested at all. And yet people still insist on keeping it in CTGP just because it was the first course. No, screw that. 
screw that. If your first course is absolute garbage, then we forget about it immediately and replace it with better courses that aren't complete garbage. Clearly, whoever is in charge of the CTGP stuff doesn't understand basic courses, but I'm here to educate you, bruh. And it's not even a case of like, well, we we get uh, we don't have enough tracks. Like, it, it's not taking. We have so many empty slots already. We may as well. No, no. There's a very finite amount of set of spaces, and they cycle tracks in and out. But this one, they constantly keep. And once again, I was holding break with all of my might. It doesn't matter. Now we're at the horrible area of we're too far behind that we can really catch up, but we're not far enough behind that we get good power-ups. Yeah, I... I'm not even going to say I defy anybody to be able to get through this part without doing tricks, because I know there's going to be some stupid try-hard move. Actually, it's so easy to get through this without falling off. You just have to do these frame-perfect uh, jumps at exact mushrooms and just know in advance which ones to do where. And pray to God, and you can do it. It's like, I, no, screw that. I'm not even going on those mushrooms over there because um, you will fall. I can see Yoshi. And of course, this part up here has to be at like the end of the course. Okay, I am holding brakes right now. I was holding brakes before I even landed on the mushroom platform. Doesn't even matter. Well, looks like Yoshi also couldn't get through that. There, I won first on the absolute worst course in any racing game ever. I gotta admit, that's that's pretty tight competition to make the actual worst course ever, but you did it. Congra Actually, no, I'm not even gonna congratulate you. This course is trash. Get rid of it immediately. Nobody should ever play on it. I got a perfect score, and it's only rank B. Because the course forces you to fall off multiple points. <laughs> well, there we go. We have the barometer. We now we have now seen the lowest point of racing games. So now we are going to head over and play as Yoshi. And you know, let's go in a cart. I'm going to try out the classic dragster. This one's got decent drift. Okay, so that was the Poison Mushroom Cup. One of those courses was amazing. Two of them were alright, and one is absolute pure garbage. Now we're on to the Ice Flower Cup. We've got Alpine Skyway, Mario Castle Raceway, Autumn Leaves Way, and GCN Sherbet Land. Okay. Mario Castle Raceway? Is that going to be another one of those, like, it's one of the 3DS or Mario Kart 8 tracks, but we had to rename it for no reason. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. Alpine Skyway. Wow. Okay, this course looks really nice. Oh my, what the heck is that? Is there a tornado on this course? Okay, that, this basically looks like an alternate version of DK Summit. I can get behind this. DK Summit's not a bad course. Let's see what's in store for us in the Winter Wonderland. Okay. Is there some kind of setting on that just causes human players to always blow up? Bowser, are you serious? You were in 11th place and there were a bunch of people in front of you and you throw that backwards just to hit me. Fine, I won't remember you when I'm famous. Okay, so now we blast up and- Oh, so this is like DK Summit meets Sky Garden. Okay, I actually- Whoa, whoa, whoa! I did not realize there was a gap there. 
That is on me. I thought it was just a giant track all going down. No, it wasn't. Okay. Oh, and now we've got a little bit of Sherbet Land in here as well. Move it in the Wii Gap. The Day Tripper is heavier than the classic Dragster? I don't think that that's right. Alright, this course is pretty awesome. I, I actually am totally down for this one. Oh, of course. No, but visually this course is great, and the track itself is quite fun to race on. I'm a fan. I'm not a fan of the way the CPUs are treating me, but, well, what else is new? I like this course, though. It just seems so imaginative. It's like, oh, man. I feel like this is, like... Somebody made this course because as a kid they imagined, like, oh, I remember going up these, like, the ski lifts. I thought I was going all the way up into the clouds, and then they, they made a course off of that. It's really cute, and I, I... Are you for real? For all of you folks watching this, I have to ask, do you have... The same luck in Mario Kart that I do. Better luck? Worse luck? Let me know. That's the thing. I can only actually see my own luck. So I don't know if my luck is just in general really bad, or if this is just what everybody faces. Let me know. Okay, because it really feels like they are just spawning in fake power blocks to try and hit me. Oh great, somebody didn't shrink because they were in a bullet bill. And now they're in first place. Oh look at that, they threw another fake power up block, but thankfully I was prepared for that one. This also means they are not prepared to, yeah, take it that diddy calm. No! Doggone it! No! Are you serious? Just bring me! Well, Yoshi barely scraped out a win there, but a win is a win. Wow, that was a really good course. Like, really liked that course. Hated the CPUs in that course, but that's not the fault of the designer. No, that course I'd give a two thumbs up to. That, that was so much fun. Wow. It, yeah, it really was DK Summit meets Sky Garden meets Sherbet Land. And the, the design and, oh man, just everything about that was like chef's kiss. Very nice. Well done to the creator. Okay, so now I think we're at Mario Ca Mario Castle Raceway. Wait. Oh yeah, okay. So, yep, this is 3DS Mario Circuit. Just call it 3DS Mario Circuit. I don't understand why you are renaming it. Okay, I am not holding the A button too early. What is wrong with this? Are you serious? Like, the frame I got near Kimbu, he pulled out a fake power. Arg! The CPUs are the worst! Oh no, not the... Can we not have bouncy mushrooms in, like, every single custom racetrack? Bouncy mushroom gimmick kind of sucks. What happened to my power up? Or my power slide boost? Honestly, as far as Mario circuits are concerned, this one is one of the better ones.
There's just enough that- oh no, you get it. Take it back. Yeah. I don't need no bouncy mushroom platform. Look at dry bones. What the heck? It ate my it ate my power slide boost again. Alright, who's behind me? Looks like Waluigi, but he's a decent ways behind. Of course. There is not a furred thundercloud, is there? I saw the thundercloud icon on the bottom for like half a second. This is why the bouncy mushroom gimmick don't work. You can't balance it for every CC. Nobody has hit that banana peel yet. That is not how where I threw the shell. I threw it right at the Goomba. Yoink! Well, alright. I mean, that was a course. Nothing too, nothing really great about it, but nothing terrible about it, so I'll give it a pass. It's, it's alright, I guess. It's a Mario circuit. Mario circuits are never really that great. They're always just very mediocre. It's just a fact of life. As sure as that Rainbow Road is gonna be tough. Alright, Autumn Leaves Way. So this is like Maple Tree Way, but different. Kind of. I mean, I like Autumn. So, let's see what we got. We got a bunch of logs. We got some houses. Definitely seems like a typical custom track. Oh look, 90 degree turns. Okay, I am not bowling up in every race this video. Are you serious? I'm not holding the A button too early. They just changed the timing of it, like, all- I'm literally holding it after the two disappears. I wonder if you guys can actually hear me whenever I push one of the buttons. You can judge for yourself. Okay. This is an interesting little course. Trying to keep my eyes peeled for where I might be able to take a mushroom shortcut. Ooh, okay. Can you move? Um, what? It really looked like that was the way you were supposed to go. Oh no. I appreciate the sign actually be. Are you for real? That Goomba could have been literally anywhere, and he had to be right where I was spinning. Okay, this part up here, I'm not a huge... That looks a little slop shod. But otherwise, this course seems pretty awesome. Wobby Ouija. Classic Dragster is at least fun to use. Another blue shell. Okay, this course is pretty f cool. I'm not a huge fan of the treehouse part. Oh, watch out, folks. I got a blooper. Go up here, do we get to take a shortcut? I fail to see how that way is a shortcut, but alright. Oh no. Oh, don't! Stop it! 
are you stop no are you kidding me screw off all right donkey Kong you think it's fun to push around the little guy do you Diddy Kong. You're a nuisance in every game that you're in. Oh, look, triple reds. One for every person in front of me. Oh, what's that? Dry Bowser? Or regular Bowser, whoever you are? Right where every tar is going to be. I don't like that. There we go. Alright, that course was pretty great until you get to the treehouse. And even then, it's still solid. It just needs a little bit of updates to make it, it flow just a little bit better. Otherwise, fantastic course. Really impressed with the visuals on that one. I give that a thumbs up. I, I, I enjoy that one. All right, now we've got GCN Sherbet Lane to finish things off. Well, I at least know this course is decent. And it looks like it actually is modeled after the Double Dash version, not the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe version. That's cool. I prefer the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe version, but I guess the GC, the Double Dash one is all right. There we go, wow. I literally held A at the normal time and then released it and then held it again just to try and get the boost. I'm gonna try to save this mushroom for the end. So that way I can take a boost across the freezy area. I hate how Baby Daisy is constantly trying to drop that banana peel on top of my head. Excuse me, that is not the way to freeze. Are you. F Stupid pow block! Never this is why I never hold on to power-ups in Mario Kart. And inevitably, there will always be some dumb butt luck that thing that happens that makes you lose it before you actually want to. Well, it's like, I know, I'll save this mushroom for half a lap so I can take the shortcut at the end. Oh, nope, you got shrunk! So actually, you don't get to keep it till the end. Herpa derpa scurpa. Luigi. Wow, I'm so glad my red shell went out of its way to hit that banana peel. How did I not hit the power up? That gave me a lot more air than I think it should have. Look, it's Bowser. Catch me if you can, suckers. I think lightning should be a power-up that you're lucky if you see one in a race. Not like, oh, you're gonna get one every lap. Seriously, it's an extremely invasive power-up. Alright! There we go. Yoshi triumphed in first on every single race. Actually, we won first on every single race this video. Cool. So, wow. I would say if we combine all of the courses we played on, it averages out to about average. But that's just because Mushroom Peaks lowers it so much. We had some really, really great tracks, but Mushroom Peaks alone just lowers the average by so much. That's how bad it is. 
Yes, I'm still talking about how bad Mushroom Peaks is a whole circuit afterwards because it really is that bad. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I, on the whole, I did enjoy most of the tracks today. So we had some very, some very good talent in today's lineup, and we also had some very bad talent. Lack of talent, I guess is the word. Next time, we'll be going to the next two cups, and, well, I guess we'll continue the onslaught of different characters and vehicles, maybe. Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.